lips. Sorry for what's to come. I'm going to be doing another favorite lip products video for spring to summer. I know you guys really liked the winter one, so I wanted to show you my favorite lips for this season. So just a heads up, all of the colors I'm going to show you, they're kind of in the same color family, I guess, since I'm trying to keep a spring to summer theme going. Um, but I just wanted to show you the lip products that I really enjoy using and the colors that I really like. Uh, so if you're interested... I guess you can keep watching. <laughs> All right, so this one I actually just got. This is from Kaja Beauty, and I bought this and one of their blushers because I'm not gonna lie, I'm really easy to sell to. I saw it in the G Idol Senorita video, and I mean, I fell for the marketing trap. That's all I have to say. So the one I got is called Number Two Sweet Talk, and I'll insert a swatch for all of the lip colors. Please don't make fun of my swatches. This is not something I regularly do, so I'm not very good at this. This is what it looks like when you put it on. Um, if you notice, it kind of has a really shiny, almost a little bit transparent pink color to it, which I really like because you can definitely build up the color like I did, or you can kind of just do a couple layers and get like a little pink tint, I guess. I just really like how light and playful this pink color is. Um, the product is really cute too. It has a little clicky thing so you can um, push up the product as you go. I also love that it has a little shine to it. I think it keeps the pink a little bit more lively. So the next two colors are from the same brand, so I'm just going to talk about them together. And these are from 3CE, the Mood for Blossom collection, and they have a few other colors. Um, I kind of showed them in a video I did with them, so I will leave that here if you want to go watch. But even though I like all the colors, I think the two that I like the most um, are Peach Play and Cotton Up. So let me show you Peach Play first. I really love this color, it's so pretty. Sorry, before I show you, these um, lipsticks are called the Slim Velvet Lip Colors, I believe, and they're very nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I just cannot get over the way that these go on my lips. They're just so smooth and they make my lips look super airbrushed, which I like. Um, but yeah, this is the color. It kind of has more of a peachy color than a pink one, but you can definitely see that there's some pinks in it because it's not a perfect kind of it doesn't really have that orange <laughs> color that peaches have, but I really love the light pink in it. This is not a matte lip color, so it is gonna come off throughout the day, but I don't really mind that. I don't really mind retouching up my lips. Let me show you the other one that I really like though. So the other one that I really like is Cotton Up. Let me show you. Let me zoom you in. <laughs> So this is Cotton Up and this is seriously the perfect color for spring to summer because it has the vibrancy of summer with the kind of like reddish tones but it's still very light and springy, you know what I mean? Man, if I had to choose between Peach Play and Cotton Up, I think I'm going to choose Cotton Up just because I think, I don't know, I just really like this color. I think it looks really nice and it's just going to go with a lot of makeup looks so very pretty. If you guys have ever filmed a video like this, it seriously, it seriously kills my lips. <laughs> okay, so the next lip product I wanna talk about is this. This is from Bite Beauty. What color is this? So I'm really embarrassed, but the name of this is Candied Guava, and you're gonna hear me reference it as Candied Giava. I know I'm really dumb, but <laughs> dude, the U got cut in half or rubbed off or something, so it looks like an I, but it's Candied Guava, not Giava. Okay. Okay, enjoy. This one's called Candied Giava, and these are their cream shimmer lip crayons. Um, and I really love this color in particular because it kind of has, let me just show you. <laughs> oh, Jack is here, so I have a bunch of Jack Jack hair. <laughs> So 
So this is Candy Giava, and I love the shimmer that's in these lip crayons. I think that's what makes it look so summery to me. Um, this has kind of more peachy tones in it, but it could really be used as like an everyday lip color as well. They have a bunch of other colors. Blah! They have a bunch of other lip crayon colors. Um, another one that I really like is Rosé Glossé. Glacé. This one is a really nice everyday color. It looks like this. I'm not going to show it because I think it kind of goes with any season, but it looks like this. It's got a my lip up better kind of feel to it, um, but it has shimmers in it, which is super nice. Okay, the next color I'm going to show you is a really strong color. This is a red, and this is from M Cosmetics. It's one of their cloud... No, no, no. True gloss. This is one of their true glosses and it's super red, but I wanted to show you because I think there is a very distinct difference between like the winter reds and the summer reds and this one I feel is more of a summer red. Let me show you and I'll kind of explain what I mean. <laughs> With this color, I like to just tap it first and then rub my finger because it is a really, really strong color. So this is Blood Moon and I know that all reds, oh my gosh, there's seriously so much fur here. Jack has been here for over a week now, so I've been vacuumed, so I'm getting a lot of hair in my mouth. Anyway, so this is Blood Moon and this red, red for me, um, I know it's kind of hard to I guess think like red is red, but for lip colors, I feel like there's a really strong difference between the winter reds and the summer reds. I feel the summer reds have a lot more of a vibrancy and maybe a little bit of a orange tone to it um, within the lip color. And then for the holiday reds, they're very dark and rich, deep reds. Anyways, I think that Blood Moon definitely has more of a vibrancy about it. Um, and I think that makes it a very distinct color from other red lipsticks. And I've talked about this before, but I don't really like lip glosses. Um, but I really love the M Cosmetics True Gloss because it kind of gives a little bit of shine, but it's not uncomfortable at all. A lot of lip glosses are really sticky and stuff, but this one is just very, very light. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a summer red, I really like this one. So this one, I was kind of hesitant to show. I wasn't sure if I should include it because you can't buy it anymore. Um, but I figured I'd show it. And if any of you guys have any recommendations for a color that is similar to this one, please leave them down below because I cannot find one. Anyways, it is this one. This one is called Pohi from ColourPop. And this was made with Jen's collab with them. And I think that was like two or three years ago it's it's been a while i still have it and i still have the other one <laughs> i have two because i wanted to make sure i would have this for a really long time and i feel bad that it's not available anymore i feel like we should tell color pop to make this again because it's such a pretty color every time i wear it i seriously get so many compliments on it um let me show you Okay, so this is Tohi and this is a ultra satin lip and this is my second favorite formula from ColourPop. My first is their ultra blotted lip colors. But what I really like about the ultra satin lip colors is that they're very light, they aren't drying. Um, I find their matte lip colors to be a bit too drying, which is why I stray away from those. But this is so comfortable. I seriously wish they still had this color. It's such a pretty kind of peach coral color and uh, I just really, really like it. I wish they'd bring it back, it's so sad. If they brought it back as like a ultra blotted lip color or something similar to this, I would buy like 10 of them. <laughs> if any of you guys know a lip product that is currently being sold that is similar to this one, please let me know down below. I'm sure all of us would like to know, especially me, because one day this is gonna run out and I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> but anyways, this is it. I gotta take it off now because I'm gonna show you the last thing. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is not a lip color, but this is a lip product that I think is very handy for the spring and summer because it's so, so sunny. This. This is the Birds and Bees All Weather Moisturizing Lip Balm and it has SPF 15. 
I used to be someone that never ever wore sunscreen because my skin was so good. I never really looked up into skincare before. But then after I had acne and everything, I really realized how important sun protection is. And I didn't even think about my lips for so long. And then I recently stumbled upon this. Well, not recently. It's been like a year. But I've been using this a lot for the daytime, especially when I walk dogs. And this isn't just for spring and summer. Um, I just thought of it because sun you think of the sun when it's spring and summer you know but you should definitely use this in the winter too because the sun still exists in the winter um but basically just has spf in it so you can protect the skin on your lips because this is still skin guys we can still get hurt i'm trying to see if there's like a flavor to this but it doesn't say it just um it kind of smells a little fruity but not super sweet fruity it's very light this also says it's a moisturizing lip balm broad spectrum spf 15 water resistant for 40 minutes that's kind of handy <laughs> but anyways i've been really liking this and i thought i'd put it in because spf is very important before i end the video i forgot to mention one more lipstick that i really like it's this one from fenty beauty one of their mademoiselle ones and this one is in spanked it's kind of like a rose it looks dark in here, but it's not that that dark, but it's kind of like a rosy dark rosy pink So it looks like this. Let me put it on my lips really quick. Let me take this one off first They come off really strong which is why I like swipe and then tap but This is it <laughs> I think it looks so pretty and I've been using it a lot. I haven't been using shoddy as much just because it isn't really winter or fall right now and I think that color goes best with that season. And this is a little bit more kind of pinky and rosy and I really like it, but it's not too light and playful. Like it has like a little bit more of a serious tone to it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my descriptions for lip colors are really bad, but this is what it looks like. And I hope that you guys liked this additional one that I threw in. I don't know why I totally forgot about it. I put it right in front of me and then I just forgot to mention it. And now I'm editing and I'm like, what the heck was I doing? Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.